Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Kuldeep here, and today we are going to learn that how to remove the messages. Chrome is being controlled by automated test software in Selenium WebDriver. So first, let's see like what is this problem statement, and then we will see that how we can fix it out. So here you can see that it is a basic uh, Selenium program to launch the Chrome browser and open the google.com inside it. So let me simply execute it and see what we are getting here. So if you notice that we are getting a message that says Chrome is being controlled by automated test software, which means this particular browser is getting controlled by some automated test software and in our case it is selenium so first let's see like what is the difference in the browser session that is controlled by automated uh, test software and if we try to launch the browser in normal way so i have opened another session okay so it is just opened manually so here you can notice that you can see a lot of bookmarks here as well as the extensions but in this browser which is controlled by selenium we cannot see any kind of these options here okay and our agenda is to remove this message let's say that there is a business requirement and uh, they need that this message should not be the part of your reports so let's see that how we can remove it okay and one more thing we need to keep in mind that we cannot handle it like the, the web elements in the web pages we cannot identify this toss button and uh, close it programmatically okay so let's see that how we can handle it now so for that let's go to the official selenium website go to this downloads browsers and as we are dealing with this chrome browser so let's go to the documentation part of the chrome browser and from here we need to go to this chrome options right they have provided us a couple of notes here uh, capabilities are options that you can use to customize and configure a chrome driver session so in in case like if you want to customize your chrome driver session so we can use the capabilities and the chrome options classes okay so here you can see that they have given us the two classes first is the chrome options uh, this is supported by java python etc and uh, desired capability class this is supported by the python ruby while it is also available in the java its users in java is deprecated okay so we will see that how we can handle this uh, removing of this message with the help of the chrome options classes and with the help of the chrome options classes we can perform for operations as well uh, we can maximize the browser okay we can uh, block the pop-ups windows and uh, set download directory as well all right and uh, they have given us certain options here so basically these are the key and value pairs okay and uh, with help of this exclude switches actually we can remove this message okay so here uh, key is the exclude switches and it accepts the list of the strings and if we go to the description of this particular key so it basically takes list of the chrome command line save switches to exclude that chrome driver by default process when starting chrome and do not fix switches with uh, double hyphen okay so basically it's saying that when the chrome browser gets a start so it start with the help of uh, you know the by default settings so uh, we need to basically exclude those kind of uh, switches okay so let's see that how we can do it so first we need to create a 
an object of the Chrome Options classes. So I will write the Chrome Options OPT. It's and uh, new Chrome Options. Okay, and uh, here you can see like this class is used to manage the uh, options specific to the Chrome driver. Okay, and after that, with the help of this OPT object, we need to use method that is the set experimental options, and it takes two arguments that is the string name and object value. So in the string name, we need to provide this value that is exclude switches. Okay. And in the options, we need to pass the list of the strings. So for that, we can write there is as list and we can provide the uh, list of strings here. And here we can pass enable automation. So now we need to pass this Chrome options uh, object here so that it will behave according to the properties which we have set uh, in this statement. All right. And uh, now let's execute it again and see what happens. Okay. So here you can see the masses is not coming at all and uh, with help of just one line of code we are able to remove info pane masses. So friends that's it for today's session. I hope it is helpful. Uh, please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much.